The What If promo has now fully started in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team and all of these players already have quite good upgrades but there is a possibility for all of them to get a 2 plus overall rating so in this video we're going to be talking about how do What If cards upgrade everything you need to know in this video so just before we get into it if you are new here definitely make sure that you guys are subscribed to this channel I'm going to be making lots more videos just like this one explaining new cards new promo when it is going to be coming out and also predicting it beforehand we did get the loading screen very good explanation as well so definitely make sure that you guys are subscribed so you do not miss any of those future videos so getting straight into this one now as we can see here we do have loads of different cards and just first of all we can see it does say team one so we're very likely to see a team two that is going to be coming next friday and that is going to be coming the 5th of march so that is going to be interesting hopefully Hopefully a new objective with that we did get an objective this week it is a decent little card I'm not going to be making a video on it but I think I'm still going to be completing it and maybe finding a way into my Serie A team we will see but taking a look now at these cards it has now fully been explained by EA Sports the concept of how these cards are going to be working we do understand it from my past videos but if you don't already this is your first video here then it is going to be very simple because EA Sports have pretty much kept it the same same way for all of the players so there is a possibility for every single card that you do see here to get a two plus overall upgrade that is going to be a permanent upgrade that can only happen one time if they are going to be getting it for example smalling if he is going to go to 90 rated then that is going to be it that is going to be his final version for the rest of fifa and it isn't going to be possible for him to get any more upgrades after that because esports have also confirmed it's not exactly the same as headliner cards headliners will upgrade and they will stay ahead of the inform or man of the match card any other special cards based on real life performances but these cards do not work in that way that has been confirmed by EA Sports so that is definitely a very big thing they are not going to be upgrading or updating based on any other real life performances apart from this one time upgrade 2 plus permanent upgrade so taking a look now at a player and we are going to be seeing how he's going to be getting upgraded for example Kante he does have the potential to get a 2 plus overall of course and that would take him to 93 rated so how is he going to be getting that and when is it going to be coming well we do know how it is going to be happening he does fall under an attacker or midfielder so he is going to be upgrading if the players club which is Chelsea do score at least six total games in their next five domestic matches which is going to be in the Premier League of course so if we just simply take a look at their next fixtures in the Premier League they do have a game against Manchester United if they score six goals all in one there in one game then he is going to be getting an upgrade and when is this upgrade going to be coming it is going to be coming the following Wednesday so for example if he did get upgraded right now which is very unrealistic then we do still have to wait until the following Wednesday for that to happen so most of the games are going to be played on the weekend so we're still going to have to be waiting a few days until the following Wednesday to actually get upgraded so this is going to be working the same way as headliners as well if you do remember so it is simply EA Sports making the job easier for themselves every single Wednesday they'll see who deserves an upgrade who actually fulfilled the criteria and they are going to be giving out the upgrades like that so just keep that in mind when trading and looking at the fluctuations when to buy and sell with these cards so that is how it is going to be working for attackers it is very simple attackers and midfielders those positions so Kante a CDM that's still a center defensive midfielder so that is going to be counting as those at least six total goals in their next five domestic league matches so how's it going to work for defenders and goalkeepers that is going to be upgrading if the players club keep at least one clean sheet over the next five domestic league matches so it is going to be literally just one clean sheet this could happen even the first game that they are going to be playing for example in Babu a lot of people are looking at that they are going to be playing Hertha and that is going to be happening on Saturday so literally if Wolfsburg do go ahead and keep a clean sheet then he is going to be getting an upgrade already this following Wednesday which is actually going to be March the 3rd so that is the fastest possible upgrade that we could see and also take a look at a few other defenders definitely going to be some crazy fluctuations with them but there is also that question of sort of when does the tracking start when could this possibly fulfill the criteria it is going to start as soon as when these cards did come out so it has already started February the 26th at 6 p.m UK time it did already start so if you had a, a match today on Friday 7 o'clock and they did actually get a 
clean sheet, then that is going to be counting. Any games that are played from now on, and when I'm recording this video, that is all going to be counting. And also the last thing is what is going to be happening after these five games. For example, if a club doesn't score, if a club doesn't get a clean sheet, what is going to happen to that player? It's just going to unfortunately stay the same. The rating isn't going to change. EA Sports aren't going to be giving another chance for all we know. So maybe that is why they did actually make it fairly straightforward for these teams to actually hit this criteria. It isn't too difficult at all, but for sure, there is going to be that one club who needs one or two more goals in their last game, the fifth game, or maybe they still haven't got a clean sheet. Is that going to be the final game that they're going to get? It's definitely going to get very tense with these cards, and I do think it is going to get very, very interesting. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.